Draws. Hi, my name is Kurt and I'm a dad who loves to draw. Well, today I'm going to show you how to draw step by step a hedgehog. This guy's cute. He has a red scarf, he's happy as a clam, and he's ready for winter time. So come on, let's get in the studio and start to draw. All right, we'll start with a straight line going up and down and then a nice long line across the bottom. And then we're gonna get a nice curve for his back, nice sweeping curve. This will be the general shape that we're going to work in. Let's go ahead and draw across the form in order to create this scarf. And as you can see, I'm gonna start wide at the top and then bring it down into a taper. And this will help to give the illusion that his scarf has been gathered at the bottom. A round little nub at the top and then two other uh, parts of the scarf, the end of it coming off the top. Keep your shape simple here. Then we're gonna use like an M shape for his uh, face there and make sure that the one side is much bigger than the other side. It's almost one third versus two thirds. Get his nose and his eyes in. If you need to pause the video, this would be a great moment to pause it so you could get caught up. Nice triangle for his eye, for his ear, and another triangle for his other ear. A nice smile. And remember, we're drawing the under drawing, so we want to make sure that this is very light, very light. Hold your pencil lightly as you do this. his tail in. Now we're going to start just roughing in just some of his a uh, little bit of the hairs above his head and now we're going to add a little bit of a pattern to his scarf and I'm just using horizontal and vertical lines. Whoa! Hey if you're liking this video go down there and give me a thumbs up. You got this. Feet, keep them really simple. Keep it light. We'll come back in with a dark, more darker marks to get the rest of his body. Hind legs, very similar the way I drew his front legs there. Now let's come in and start darkening some of the things up. His eyes, start putting in some of his... Uh, I, I think they're called quills. I, I don't think they're considered hairs. So I, I wonder if he's part of like the porcupine family. I don't know, maybe. All right, let's get his ears in here. This other ear that's on the back side of his head. Just kind of going over my lines now, darkening them up, making them interesting. Now, watch very carefully how I draw the scarf and create the illusion that's wrapping around his head. I'll, I'll go with the inside part first. And you can see how I go on the outside and wrap it almost around. Watch that very carefully. Let's get some hairs in the back side here. A little bit of a tail. I've put the drawings, of course, up on the left-hand side that you could refer to to see where it's going and also a color version that I added some very simple tones to. You 
you know, when I draw, it's all about contrast. I'm constantly trying to think of contrasting of lines, contrasting of color, contrasting of texture. Contrast is very interesting to the eye. Contrasting of shape, contrasting of weight. The weight you can see that's happening here is the legs are toward the back and it's his face is very top heavy, but it's it makes it interesting to look at. All right, well that brings us to the end of this uh, tutorial. I've added a little wind here and a little snow effects. I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.